Hey, it's Clay, CPAP My Way, CPAPMyWay.com. Today I am here to discuss your CPAP pressure and how you can determine whether or not it is at the correct pressure and operating in a correct manner. Um, the CPAP pressure is measured in centimeters of water pressure displaced. And there's like these old school uh, tubes that have water in it. And as you blow the pressure in it, it pushes the water up in the gauge and you can see. But these days there's a lot easier manner. We have this little home use uh, manometer and this manometer that we use here. So I'm going to show you how to check it. We actually have these little manometers for sale. I don't think we sell these. Um, if that's of interest to anybody out there, throw it in the comments. I may put it on the website if anybody has real interest in the, uh, the more professional version. But um, I'm going to show you a couple of things you got to avoid when you are checking your CPAP pressure that'll throw you off. That may be something that even um, some of our uh, providers out there don't know about that follow us. Um, but uh, if you like the info, please hit us with a thumbs up. If you have any questions about this, comment. Obviously, subscribe if you want more. Let's jump in. This is an AirSense 11, uh, as you can see here. I've got it set on a setting of 10 centimeters of pressure. And so I'm going to show you how to check and see if this machine is blowing at the correct pressure. So I'm going to show you on both types of manometers uh, what the pressure shows and um, and then I'm going to show you something that might throw the pressures off a little bit. So to use the, uh, the manometer that we use in the back here, you hook up this little bleed adapter and you have to cover the, uh, the outlet there. And then you're going to crank up your CPAP, right? Number one, you're going to have to remember that your CPAP could possibly have the ramp turned on. If the ramp turn is turned on, it's not going to go to the full pressure anyway, right? Because it's going to stay at that minimal ramp pressure. If you're interested in what ramp pressure is, I got a link in the description below to learn all about ramp. Um, and so right now we've got this machine running. It's running at a 10. And then you can see on the manometer, we're blowing at just about a 10 on the pressure gauge. Yep, it's up to a 10. Okay. So we would know on the uh, professional manometer here that we are at the right pressure. All right, now I'm gonna show you on your uh, home version manometer what that would look like, right? So you just attach that. There's nothing to cover on this one. And you crank your CPAP up, all right? And then as the machine turns on, you'll notice that little silver ball going up, right? And it's gonna increase until it hits the max pressure, right? And so we can see that bottom of that ball is right at the 10. So we know um, if you wanted to check at home, the, uh, this manometer would tell you if your machine's accurate or not, right? Obviously it's gotta be held perfectly vertical. If you go to the side, it'll throw it off. Or obviously if you got it upside down, you got a real problem. So holding it vertical to where the bead stays in the middle, getting an accurate reading. If you're getting a reading that is low, there's a chance that you have a setting in the machine turned on. And that is your, for instance, in this AirSense 11 would be EPR, your exhalation relief setting. In a Philips machine, it would be Flex. Luna is Reslex, I think, IPR and the Ivory, something like that. Um, anyway, those settings will reduce the pressure when you exhale, but it also can leave the pressure reduced when you're checking it on a manometer because there's enough resistance on the manometer that the machine thinks that you're exhaling and it will drop the pressure which will make the manometer gauge pressure look a little low. So I'm gonna demo that for you here now. All right, so what I did in the ResMed 11 here is I turned the EPR, which is the exhalation relief setting up to three. That's the max amount of exhalation relief this machine is capable of. But I want you to look at this ball, right? Previously, the ball was up at the 10, right? But now we notice the ball's down near seven or eight and that is because the epr is telling the some telling the machine that somebody's breathing on this thing and it needs to reduce the pressure by a setting of three because the epr is set at three so if you were checking this at home and you had your epr set on three you might be like oh man the machine's not blowing right but the truth is it actually may be blowing just fine it is that your epr setting is turned on um, so before you're going to take a pressure um, gauge to the machine to, to determine your um, your accurate CPAP pressure, you need to have the EPR turned off. Uh, or just account for it mentally, right, that it could be off by a few um, if you're doing it. I'll show you on the, uh, the bigger machine here as well. So you can see on here, it's 
blown right at seven centimeters, right? And that is because our CPAP is set at 10, the EPR is set at three, which puts the gauge at a seven centimeters of pressure because that's what the machine thinks you need to exhale against. So keep that in mind when you're taking the gauge to your machine to, to determine your pressures, that your EPR, flex, rest flex, whatever else you, uh, you have on your machine is, um, is turned off when you take that. Again, we do have these little CPAP meters for sale. If you wanted to check them, I don't think they're real expensive. If this is of interest to people out there, the bigger one, let me know. I'll, um, I'll uh, add them to the website. I think we have actually quite a few of them, really. But um, anyway, if you like the info, thumbs up. If you have questions or you want me to add into it, throw it in the comments and subscribe for more info. So thanks again for watching.